Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to be talking about multiple OS or installing multiple operating systems on a single computer. This is something I do on all my computers. I install both DOS and Windows XP and I use DOS uh, as a utility for maintaining XP. But you can install Windows 98, 2000, XP, Vista, Windows 7, even Linux all on a single computer and we'll be discussing that. First thing you need to do is partition your hard drive. And there are several tools for doing that, and I'll be discussing those. Uh, the first partition needs to be a primary partition. And uh, the first partition is where you'll install your oldest Microsoft operating system. Microsoft does not allow you to install an older operating system over a newer. But it does allow you to start with DOS or some of the older operating systems and then install newer operating systems. You want to have a partition for each operating system. So we'll start off with a primary. We'll set it active. And this is where I install DOS, but you can install any operating system on it that you want. The second OS that you'll be installing, you'll be installing inside a logical drive, which will be in an extended partition. This would be the next oldest or a newer uh, operating system, such as Windows XP or Vista. In review, before we go to the review, let me show you the window that opens up here. When we right here, you can see a window that uh, is um, provided for you during a boot up. Now, this window normally lasts you about 30 seconds. And you can inst you can select either Windows XP, which will be the default selected, or another operating system. You would have as many operating systems listed here as you would have installed. Second one here says Windows uh, or Microsoft Windows. That's where I actually have DOS installed. But this again is the first window that appears uh, during your boot routine and allows you to select the operating system that you want to put on your computer. You could even put two uh, Windows XP on your computer in case one stops working. You could always boot to the second one. In review. Uh, in review, we're going to install our oldest Microsoft OS on our primary partition. We're going to set it active. If you don't set it active, it won't boot. You set it active using those partition utilities. We're going to install the next oldest operating system on the first logical drive, which will be in our extended partition. Then we're going to install the next oldest uh, Microsoft OS on our second logical drive and so forth. Now you could, if you're just installing Windows NT operating systems, just use primary drives. You can install a maximum of four primary drives on a computer. But uh, I can't use uh, more than one primary partition uh, with Windows DOS. DOS won't operate except with only one primary uh, partition. So I stay with one primary. And then in my extended, I can create as many logical drives as I need for as many operating systems that I want to put on a computer. Next, we're going to do an activity. I want you to create a primary partition. And I want you to make sure you set this active. You can use FDisk, which is a good uh, Microsoft utility. I have a video on FDisk. Also, you could use GParted. This is a good Linux utility. I also have a video on this. Or you could use GDisk. That's a good Norton utility or Partition Magic, another Norton utility, or anything else that you might have. There are quite a few partition utilities out there. Then I want you to create an extended partition with at least three logical drives. And on these logical drives, we can place additional operating systems. Uh, remember to install Microsoft DOS or your oldest operating system first, and then in a chronological order, the next uh, newer operating systems. That's all I've got for now. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.